to share a picture that Mary painted. I think it's caption titled Metamorphosis. And as has been mentioned several times today, butterfly coming out of the cocoon. I was just reading this last couple of days, uh, not even thinking about this picture until just now, but the butterfly has gone through three distinctly different DNAs. It isn't just an improvement of the past DNA. It's completely different. In one, he is a multi-legged crawling insect or crawling bug. I don't know what to even call it, caterpillar. Then he goes into cocoon and he liquefies. There's no like vertebrae, no like intestines, no like nothing. It, he liquefies inside of that and a completely different entity comes out of it has no correlation no resemblance no tie from the first dna to the last dna really? which of course is what happens with us in the transformation transfiguration process first of all at salvation we become a new creation a new creature but then it sounds like, and we're talking about it today, our hearts are being energized with passion for another thing, the redemption of our bodies, which is what this butterfly has just experienced. A redemption from being a crawling insect, or whatever they call a caterpillar, to being a flying creature. And so... If you can, if we can here together, let's just activate now and take these various passages that we have been inspired with. Uh, Romans 8, Hebrews 3, Colossians 3, Hebrews 12, Hebrews 13. Let's just wear those a minute. Put ourselves in that context, in the heavenly places. We're right here with the throne, right here with Father. And let's marinate a little bit. And uh, you, you remember how we've said the Lord is incrementally changing. He's transfiguring us. Our worldview between our ears is changing. And uh, let's put ourselves right there in Father's presence. And then let's just watch and see if there's any sparks, any fireworks, anything that goes off that just uncovers or unlocks such as a rhema, a picture, or an impression. So, Father, here we are with you. So very good. So very good. Lord, our hearts have been pierced, pierced this morning. You've awakened the, a new level of, of affection. As uh, the mirror translation says, become affectionately acquainted with these heavenly realities, something is being birthed. It's being made alive inside of us. A love for these heavenly regions is being awakened inside, in, inside of us. It's being beginning to grip us, making us become beside ourselves. And so, Father... In that same context, in that same mindset, we put ourselves right there with you. Oh, it's so good, Father. You and all of the storehouse of your designs for us, it's stored up in your mind. We take a bath and we just take a plunge, an ST plunge right into this mind of God this mind of God, and we let it wash over us. Begin to find its the tentacles of your thoughts finding their way intertwined into us, taking hold, taking root inside of us, and beginning to take over us. And we marinate in that. Take a bath in it, yeah. Just go ahead and lather up in the mind of God. 
all of these wonderful delicacies in your mind that you've been holding, reserving for a special time in history and a special time in each of our uh, individual lives. You've been waiting to unveil them, to make them manifest to us. Lord, we're swimming, so to speak, in the mind of God. And these thoughts, we're bumping up against them. And sometimes those thoughts, God, are, many of them are beyond our comprehension at this point. What was that, Lord? What was that? We bump up against this and we don't even have a way of comprehending the magnitude of what that thought was. And Lord, in this context of swimming, so to speak, in the mind of God, now we just say, Lord, we're going to open up our understanding for you to write up on us. To unveil, like the sparks of the mind of God, the sparks of the thoughts of God coming alive to us, manifesting in us first and then out through us. So Lord, this, we're just going to take a few moments of marinating and letting you cause those things to come alive within us. So Lord, it's, it's like I'm beginning to taste the dreams of my father. being able to catch the first fruits, the first glimmers of dawn coming up over the eastern horizon. And something arises to meet the dawn. <laughs> it's almost here. It's upon us. Lord, you say the path of the righteous is like the light of dawn. It grows brighter and brighter, even unto the noonday. Lord, I give you permission in me, and Lord, I just think I can speak for everybody. I give you permission to awaken uh, an expectant hunger. An expectant hunger, Lord, that grips us. Oh, like, an, like a passion that is not like a passion that's hopeless or a hunger that's hopeless, but a hunger that sees the immediacy, the imminency of a hunger fulfilled. Oh, I give you permission, Lord, to water and fan that hunger inside of me and inside of us, Lord. The light of dawn is emerging upon us. <laughs> 